Yeah, okay, so we're in court this morning and then as usual the the atmosphere was very very hostile. I came in this morning and immediately my lord the chief judge came in. He ordered uh, some armed policemen immediately for the seven to come inside the courtroom. And then the armed policemen came in with AK-47, two of them, include the, including the orderly. And then I kept quiet, the proceedings started, and then, you know, I reminded the court that we have a motion for recusal, you know, asking the chief judge to recuse himself from the matter on grounds of uh, likelihood of bias, which we have filed. And then the... The court said we should go ahead with the trial and leave the motion. I, I listened. The trial started, and then while I was, while I was examining the witness to the governor, you know, the judge ordered the journalist from Premium Times to leave the court. And I simply said, my lord, that is an open court. We were expecting that you know anyone that wants to observe proceedings should observe proceedings. And then the judge, you know, now turned on me and. Uh, and I also read that my lord that I don't feel comfortable having. You know, armed policemen inside the court. I've never seen armed policemen with AK-47. Two armed policemen with AK-47 inside the court. That it made me feel uncomfortable. It made me feel threatened that they, should, they could be outside. You know, and I applied officially that the court should excuse them from the court. And my lord ordered me to step out of the bar, ordered me to the rope, and said he's committing me to prison for one month for you know raving an observation that armed policemen. It's not proper for them to be inside the courtroom. So, my Lord has asked that, uh, you know, a conviction warrants be brought. I'm waiting for the conviction warrants. I'm going to your prison from here. I think it's also an opportunity to get to see people that are there. Right? So, I, I, we'll see how this goes. I, I just want you know, everybody to know what has been happening. This case has, has been very uh, hostile. A lot of things have happened. You know, every time we come to the court, it is always one issue or the other. I haven't, I haven't done anything. I haven't disrespected the court. I haven't said anything to hide at this personal. I just made an application that it is not proper to have armed policemen in court. And the next thing the judge said, I'm being rude. That why should I say that? That I should step out of the bar. That I'm going to prison. You know, this is the case by filed by Udomi Manuel against a certain young young lawyer over alleged defamation. I think I got into this matter, it is as if I shouldn't have even defended this man. As if I shouldn't have even defended this man. We have a, a pending application for recusal, asking the, the chief judge to recuse himself of the matter. That application has not been taken. That application is still pending. And this is exactly why, why we brought that application, because of what has been happening. You know, and then I'm being sent to prison for, for, <laughs> for doing what exactly. <laughs> So I'm just waiting for the policemen to bring the warrant. You know, the judge has ordered them not to allow me to step out of the court. That I'm going to be taken to prison from here. So I, I'm, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for them to come. Right? I'm waiting for them. I'm waiting for the policemen to come. So in case, you know, you are not likely going to hear from me after now. We'll, we'll be seeing at, uh, we'll see what happens from there. We'll see what happens from there. I've never seen this kind of situation before. I've never. I mean, how, how do you commit a liar to prison for making a formal application before the court? You know, how do you ask a lawyer to leave the court for, ask, for making an observation that it is not proper for armed policemen to be inside the court? Why should armed policemen in, be in the court? Look at where they were staying. One was here, the other one was there. We did K-47. And when this chief judge came in, he clearly said that, look, today, Anybody that says anything is going to deal with the person. With AK-47 inside the courtroom. How am I supposed to feel safe and comfortable with people with AK-47 behind me? And, and then the next thing, the, the, the chief judge made an order that I should step out of the bar. That I have to be committed to prison for one month. There is a pending application for recusal in this matter. And a lot has happened in this case. That is why we even filed the application for the Honorable Chief Judge to recuse himself. But the Honorable Chief Judge to recuse himself. So this is just the price that we have to pay for, you know, following our conviction.
is the price that we have to pay. 